Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. So I got this off the internet and I decided to do top TV shows and movies. 11 of them each. And by the way, I'm sorry I can't do the yellow food challenge yet. To wait and when I get paid and go to the grocery store and I'll do it whenever I get paid and my mom says I can do it. So I will share my top movies and what I think about them and my shows and why I like them, what they're about. So let me start. Okay, so top TV shows first. Growing Pains is one of the best shows. You'll like it if you like family and fun stuff and like a bunch of laughs, comedy. And it's, it has, let me see, it has, okay. They have a, let me see, a, they have two sons and one daughter. One daughter, but then in, then in like season, was it three? Like the other girls born, so they like have four kids and stuff. It's a family. And then names, these are not their real names. It's just the, it's just the characters' names are Ben, Mike, and Carol, and Chrissy. And like my favorite person in the character is probably Mike because he's so funny. Like he always teases his siblings, but when it comes down, he really cares for them. Especially like him and Carol are different, but they, they care for each other and that's the best part of the show. But it's also a lot of laughs too. It's fun. Then my second one is The Walkton's, and it's a really good family show. It was made in the 70s and 80s. It talks about like this family from the Great Depression and stuff. And so like there's Mary Ellen, Mary Ellen Walton, Ben Walton, John Boy Walton, Jim Bob Walton, Elizabeth Walton. And John and let me see. I'm trying to think if I said that right. Let me think of the name. Yeah, Olivia and John. And then also the one on growing paints. I forgot to mention the parents, which is Maggie and Jason. And then the third one is Little House of Prairie. It's a very fun family movie. Or not movie, it's a TV show. 70s and 80s TV show. So we have Charles, Charles, Caroline, let me see what else, Laura, Mary, Albert, and then there's other characters in that, but them are the main and carry them, them are the main characters. Then four, it's a different thing. I think it's a prime series, just that matches about three friends who find a magic book. It's really interesting, very mysterious, very like solving mysteries and stuff. Um, it's a very good show. Then five, I just discovered this. This is on Netflix, one day at a time. And it's about, let me see, there's, there's the mother, Penelope, the girl, Lena, um, the boys, Alex, and the mother and the grandma, they live together. And then, I don't know, there's this other person that's always around their house. I forgot the name of it. But it's a good show. It's a comedy family show. It's a nice show. Also, like, speaks not completely Spanish, but it speaks Spanish. Talks about issues, real issues. It very real to me let me go through the ones i said and i'll and i'll tell you where they're at growing pains is on amazon the waltons is on amazon little house on the prairie is on amazon prime just said magic is on amazon too one day at a time is on netflix oh and my favorite favorite one is a very good family movie i love it it's called the fosters and i just i love 
that show. I love how real their family is, even though it's just, even though it's moms instead of mom and dad. I just, I love how real that show is and how they love their kids no matter what. And it's just, a, it's a good show. It's a very good show. And their names are Callie, Ma Ma Callie, Mariana, and Jude, Brandon, and what else are their names? Steph and Lena. Then my next one is Dinosaurs, and I don't, um, so yeah, they're a good show too. It's honestly, it's a very, it's a very good family show, funny show. It's very interesting. And it's, you know, nice. It's eight, it, oh, and, oh, and the dinosaurs are on Hulu. Eight is Family Matters, so it's on Hulu. It's about a family show. And the main star is Steve Urkel, and so he's perceived as being one in the show, especially when he's younger, and then he gets more mature. But it's a show about family, comedy, probably about this boy, <laughs> annoying, their next door neighbor, like girl and stuff like that. It's just like a show that has Steve Urkel, which is pretty, it's a pretty funny show. Then nine is Raising Hope. That's on Hulu. It's about um, a single dad raising a girl with their weird family, and y'all should go watch it. Not gonna, not gonna tell y'all about it because the story is like, it's really crazy. It is on Hulu. Okay, ten is Girl Meets World. This on. This is from Disney. It used to be on Netflix, not anymore. But it's like one of my favorite shows. I wish they still had it on and they don't. But <coughs> <coughs> Disney, is a, it's, it's a good show. Family show, fun show, comedy show, school show. And then 11 is Alexa and Katie. Oh, it's just, it's not going to tell you the story, but just the best show. It shows you what real friends are, a show. It shows you that they sit with you through the hard times and stuff. And, yeah. Then, and that is on... Alexa and Katie is on Netflix. The third season is coming soon. They haven't announced it yet. My favorite movies are Airbud movies. I love the movies. I love dog movies. Then my second one is Beethoven. It's a nice movie. The Buttercream Gang is a good movie as well. Just look up the... Look up the trailer and you'll understand it that it's not a bad game. It's a good game, but somebody that fall into the wrong crowd. Um, Scamper is a penguin movie. It's very nice for younger kids or anybody that likes stuff like that. Homeward Bound is two dogs and a cat. The Ventures, I already watched a new one. It was good. I haven't, I only watched the last two. I didn't watch the first two. But I can tell you the ventures are completely good. American Girl, that's very good movie. They're mostly about achieving your goals or stuff like that. Or it's supposed to be inspirational, and it is. And then Summer 11 is about three girls going in middle school together, being best friends. And that's a good movie as well. Toy Story's movies are good, and I'm excited for Toy Story 4. Even though I thought Toy Story 3 was going to be the last, but I guess not. I guess it's Toy Story 4. Lion King is a good movie. Everybody should know that one, and everybody should know Finding Nemo. Them are good movies. And I'm a Disney fan. Get a heart from. But um, let me know if your YouTube videos add is. And let me know what y'all want to see. can just let me know what you want to see below comment down below comment down below like and subscribe and give it a big thumbs up